What's going on guys, Dudley here and welcome to a little bit of CSGO and what you're watching is I think is like a 10 minute clip of um, or like a 9 minute clip of a competitive match that I played and uh, this is like the ninth round I believe and um, we were absolutely smashing this team as you guys can see the score is 1 to 8 we are on the terrorist side and I decided to start using the op and I had actually start, used, started using the op the previous round to the one you just saw and I got a double headshot collateral now of course there's no way I can prove it so whether you guys want to believe me or not that's uh, that's your that's your decision but I did get a double headshot collateral and I was like what the heck why was not recording and um, I decided, you know what, I have to start recording now that I'm using the op in case I get something else cool. And unfortunately, I don't get another collateral for you guys. So um, I guess in terms of like proof or it didn't happen, I guess I don't have any proof that it happened. So I guess it technically, according to the internet, did not happen. But I, I can tell you guys that it very well did happen. Um, but uh, yeah, so I started recording and the team that we're playing against was not very good. Now, with that being said, this is my second um, my second competitive match, so I was expecting to come up against players that were at least my skill level. But uh, I found I found the first well the first game to be fair the first competitive match that I played I lost 16 to 14, and that was because uh, we could have gotten 15 to 15 to tie the round and not lose at all. But what happened was the game started lagging like crazy, and we were on the terrorist side, which means that we needed to plant. The problem is we couldn't get to the bomb sites because uh, we just couldn't. Like we kept running into walls. The lag was horrible. I had something like 400 ping for some reason. And um, I just couldn't do anything. We couldn't do anything, and we ran out of time, and we ended up losing because of that. But um, we lost that one, 16 to 14. The very next match, which is this one that you're watching, that this one was extremely, extremely easy. Not to be fair, there was a guy on our team who had created an alternate account to play against new people, I suppose, because he was uh, he was extremely good, and he was pretty pretty obvious in the fact that he had, he was better than uh, his current account. And um, I got called out on doing that as well. I got called out on apparently having two accounts and smurfing is what it's what it's called, I guess. But uh, I don't know. Like this is this is literally my second competitive match, and like there's no way I could have had any external practice in in competitive anyway. I did play a ton of team deathmatch, a ton of demolition, and a ton of casual to make sure that I was you know decent at the game before I actually went in competitive. But um, in no way, shape, or form have I ever played this game before. And if I had, I probably would have uploaded a long time ago to my YouTube channel. But uh, yeah, like the the enemy team was pretty pretty annoyed with me and the other guy because I come in second place on my team, and the guy in first place, you guys will see, he did extremely extremely well, or what I think is extremely well. I don't know. You guys would have to tell me because, like I said, I'm I'm very new to this game. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I get killed right there, and my teammate actually kills this guy as soon as he kills me. So luckily, we get the win. Unlucky for me, I couldn't keep the the streak going. Had that guy missed a few shots on me, maybe I could have turned on him and killed him. But uh, that that did not happen. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Like this game was extremely fun. It was like one of the like I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It was just really really fun, and it's kind of what solidified to me that this game is by far one of my favorite like first person shooters. Like this game, I it's 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 like it's really interesting. Like whenever you get a kill on this game, it's like truly truly rewarding, and uh, especially when you pull off like three or, f or two or three kills like in a row with this gun, like close quarters, it's it's amazing. Um, but even even when you're just using like the AK, like that was really fun because like for the majority of this game, I was using the AK. I didn't start using the op until um, until like the later rounds because I wanted to make sure that we were winning. And um, I didn't want me to be the cause of uh, of a loss because I had undoubtedly caused a loss in the besides the lag that we came up against. Um, I could have easily gotten us a tie in the last uh, in the first competitive match that I played. What happened was I had to defuse the bomb. I killed everyone. There was one guy left. I killed him. I went to defuse the bomb, and the unthinkable happened. My finger actually slipped off the E button, which meant that it stopped defusing. I didn't notice. I was too busy doing who knows what, looking at my phone or whatever, while I thought I was holding E. I looked up. I wasn't holding E. I went for it again, and unfortunately, I was too late to it, and the bomb exploded. So I easily could have won that round for us, which would put us 
15 15 um, at the very end of the round but unfortunately that's not what happened and I actually messed up a second time in that game um, our team wanted to go B and I somehow understood let's go A and I was all the way at A bomb by myself and I got killed with the bomb, which meant that my whole team had to rotate over to A. So I basically cost us two rounds in the first match. And uh, I just didn't want to be a liability in our second match. So I'm like, you know what? I won't start opping until we know I've won the, until we know we've won this match. So that's exactly what I did. And once I started opping, uh, it was actually really, really fun because the other team got extremely frustrated and they were just they were just really, really unorganized. Like, and you guys will see that um, as the grounds progressed. Like, I got away with some really, really crappy stuff, like just shooting random shots. And um, surprisingly, they never ever flanked us. And like, if had they flanked us, we probably would have lost a few more rounds. Because if you guys watch, a lot of our tactics were like, everyone run to A, or everyone run to B, and like, no one stayed back. I stayed back a few times, but I didn't stay long enough to like, actually serve as like, protection against a flank. I just kind of stayed back a little bit, and then just went ahead with my team, and, and like, they never ever flanked us. They just kept pushing us, and I think that's probably what caused them the loss. Like, they were very unorganized on the other team. On this team... We were incredibly organized. Like we had two people constantly calling things out, and uh, overall, it was it was a really cool game. Um, I had a lot of fun. This guy, I unfortunately let him die right here. I didn't see the second guy coming. I switched to my knife. I get the kill though, and then I get the third kill. And uh, luckily, we actually win that round, and I get most eliminations. That was probably like the coolest moment in this entire game, besides the double headshot collateral. That was like the coolest moment, getting three kills. But that, like, the more I watched that part back, the more I realized that the people we were playing against had like horrible, horrible aim. Like, uh, I played team deathmatch, and I have never gotten away with three people in front of me, and all of them missing basically every single shot. Like, they were not the best. Um, but anyways, that's basically it for the video. Uh, let me know how you guys want to see this, because I enjoyed playing competitive matches and they were really fun but then again they're really really long like the first one i think the video was like 50 minutes long that i recorded and i ended up deleting that video because um like i said it was 50 minutes long and there wasn't any like really cool moments there were a few moments where i like clutched a round or two but um for the most part it was it was a laggy game and i was i was off my game my team was trying to get me to do what they wanted and i was just completely messing up so the first game was kind of like meh, like not very entertaining to watch. The second game, this game, uh, I thought was by far like the funnest game I've ever played on this on CS:GO, and uh, I had a lot, I had a lot of fun. But uh, at the same time, it was a pretty long game. It was around like 15, I want to say 15, 16 minutes because uh, it wasn't as long as it usually would have been because we won just about every single round. But it was still kind of long, and uh, I don't know. I don't want you guys to like watch. 20 minute clips of these games if that's not what you guys are into and plus i would take forever to upload on my internet here at home but uh let me know what you guys want to see do you guys want to see highlights also do you guys want to see it live uh, because obviously this isn't live if you couldn't tell this isn't live um but do you guys want to see this stuff live do you guys want to uh, do you guys want to me to commentate over it and talk to you guys like i am right now but anyways that's how the game ended up, or at least that's how the first round ended, and I'll skip to the end here a little bit so you guys can see the final score, um, but we ended up winning co pretty convincingly this game, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did, let me know in the comment section below, and as always, have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching this, peace.